Hey, Shalom. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rechah HaKwadash. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, who all learned the truth of the gospel of Yahweh Shai from. And peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. It's the brother Aitazawam. Uh, coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, um, another news and prophecy update. This is coming from uh, CNBC. It says Congress must raise debt limit by October 18th. Treasury Secretary Yellen warns a new letter as default looms. Okay, so it says Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen told House Speaker Nancy Pelosi that Congress has just under three weeks to address the looming debt ceiling and avoid economic calamity. We now estimate that the Treasury is likely to exhaust its extraordinary measures if Congress has not acted to raise or suspend the debt limit by October 18th, Yellen wrote. Some Senate Republicans on Monday, which was uh, yesterday, blocked down whether or not um, you know this they continue the, the so-called Republicans continue to block uh, this bill all right that's uh you know yet to be seen however we can see that we're in um they're speaking about economic calamity all right the the u.s defaulting on its um on its debt which would be the first time in american history that this uh, uh will happen all right um and now we have breaking news the dow uh falls 500 points nasdaq Nasdaq loses 2.7 as yield spike hits tech stocks. So, you know, um, as everything is happening uh, uh, in this world, all right, as the Lord is visiting the earth which he has made, okay, as he is visiting Babylon the Great and Esau's, uh, you know, this beast system in, in general, you see different elements of it, you know, crumbling, okay? You know, you uh, have the, um, you know, this whole, you know, Vanessa. Uh, mandates going on which is causing a a, uh, a shortage in workers because i believe over there yeah over there in new york um today at midnight okay or yesterday at midnight however you want to look at it they uh passed there was a was a, a deadline for um health workers to get the vanessa so you got um you had a bunch of different um uh, protestings happen all across New York and Staten Island and New York City, where a lot of people were, you know, feeling upset, enraged because of the 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 mandate. All right, but on top of that, you have this uh, looming uh, uh, economic uh, calamity or crisis that may just hit, you know, within the next three weeks. All right, so this this all ties into this whole dark winter that we can clearly see is being shaped and formed, all right, by Yahweh Bashim Shai. All right, the ones of us that are continuously, you know, watching for these things, you know, paying attention to the signs of the times, we see that the Lord is bringing down America, man, bringing down Babylon the Great, all right, even having, you know, this whole uh, uh, system, okay, as the scripture says, that Satan will be divided against Satan. So it says Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen on Tuesday told House Speaker Nancy Pelosi that Congress has just under three weeks to address the looming debt ceiling and avoid near certain economic calamity. Now, something I was thinking is, you know, how this whole this whole mandating. All right. And, and these restrictions is something that is being done by the uh, so-called Democrats. All right. Or the or the left. And it's causing a big uproar amongst the Republican Party. In the Republican states, or any you know people that you know buy into this whole political system, all right, uh, uh, rhetoric, you have a lot of uh, people who are uh, showing uh, a disdain for uh, you know the Democratic Party and and uh, Joe Biden, or right, you have the the F Joe Biden mantra going out, okay, um, you have a uh, 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 people that are upset about the mask mandates in school. And a lot of it is people that are on the so-called right, all right, or, or Republican party. But now you have what it looks to be, if this, you know, if this be the Lord's will, which, you know, I pray that it is, that the Republican party now is going to be 
at fault for allowing the U.S. Uh, to U.S. debt to default. All right, which will cause you know a plethora of economic issues. You know, and, and a lot of um, funding would stop. All right, federal workers will stop getting funded. You know, your uh, uh, federal assistance will stop being funded. Okay, which <laughs> a lot of women are on a federal assistance. Okay, the WIC, the SNAP, all right, uh, so on and so forth. So that's going to cause millions upon millions of people to become in an economic uh, bind at a time where you have uh, shortages in, in goods and services, as well as inflation, you know, uh, uh, going up, which they were trying to say in in the in the spring, the beginning and spring of this year, that it was going to be transitory, but now. They're, they're, of course, this devil speaking, you know, with his forked tongue. They're saying that it's, it's going to last longer than what they anticipated, which they already, you know, had that uh, uh, understanding because ultimately, which is something I also have been waiting for, you have the uh, Federal Reserve. They were talking about that. They were supposed to uh, um, come out with a research paper on CBDC, Central Bank Digital Currency. So now here it is. The um, secretary, Treasury Secretary, which is the Treasury Secretary of the Federal Reserve, she's over here warning the Congress that the, the U.S. economy is going to have, uh, you know, calamity. But at the same time, these central bankers are moving toward digital currency. So this would be a very, uh, uh, a very easy, uh, um, you know, path for them to say. If there, uh, if there's an economic fault, you know, economic collapse, and then they can come out and say, well, the way that we can, you know, restore economic stability is by bringing in the CBDC, okay, and that will, will have to be the new way to to do uh, selling and buying. You can clearly see that that is something that would be used to forward this devil's agenda, because everything is according to prophecy, man. Everything. That is happening uh, um, has to be done according to the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And that as it is written, thus shall it be. So it says, we now estimate that, tre that Treasury is likely to exalt its extraordinary measures if Congress has not acted to raise or suspend the debt limit by October 18th. She wrote in a letter, at that time, so like at that point, we expect Treasury would be left with very limited resources that would be depleted quickly. All right. Yellen has Yellen, who will testify before the Senate later Tuesday morning, which is today, warned in a separate statement to lawmakers that failure to suspend or raise the debt limit will lead to the first ever U.S. default and have severe consequences for the U.S. economy. So <laughs> every every which way, you know, uh, uh, every month or every week. That goes by. There's more and more you uh, um, uh, calamity. All right, for for you know, lack of a better word, there's more and more uh, destruction that the Lord is bringing to this place. You know, not not a month has gone by where there's been something that seems as uh, uh, as positive news coming to America, man. All right, and coming to this into this you know ultimately Esau's uh, kingdom, which the scripture tells you here in the book of Ezekiel, the seventh chapter, seven verse uh, six. It says, I start at five. It says, thus saith Yahweh power an evil and only evil. Behold, is come. The end is come. The end is come. It watches for thee. Behold, it is come. OK, so only evil is coming. All right. Which the word evil meaning bad times. So that's why. Wherever you look in America, wherever avenue or whatever, uh, 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 you know, um, whichever uh, uh, platform you look at, it's only evil that is being talked about. It's only bad times. It's only, you know, uh, words that are synonymous with uh, uh, negative, negative uh, uh, connotations because we are in the end of Esau's world. Okay. We're in the end of, of this of this age of, of the wicked, and the Lord has prescribed that this place is going to go down 
with a great destruction, man. So it says, reading on, it is imperative that Congress swiftly addresses the debt limit. If it does not, America would default for the first time in history. Now, America being a, a, you know, like we always say, America is a big corporation, the United Corporations of America, right? And if it defaults, meaning, for instance, it, can, it, it it's, its debt is going in. So let's get the actual, let's see what the actual word default on debt. Let's see what it says. A debt default happens when a borrower fails to pay his or her loan at the time it is due. Okay? <laughs> hey, and we are at the time of America's uh, uh, is, is due to pay up, man. All right? Hey, and, and as the scripture says, that that if this place, that he should be shown no mercy, or he should have judgment without mercy, who has shown no mercy, who has shown no mercy. And that's America, especially Esau Edom to a T. All right, Esau Edom doesn't show mercy, man. All right, especially when it comes to money and its credit. They're quick to, to slap a, a default, you know, on your credit. They're, they're quick to, to lower your credit score. They're quick to, you know, repo your possessions if you are not, um, you know, uh, able to pay your bills because of financial, you know, strains. But here it is, America as, as a whole is on is about to default. All right. And this really is because the most high has a uh, uh, has a uh, 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 a bill that America must pay. All right. <laughs> and it's not going to be able to pay it. Actually, let me see if I can pull that up. I should put it up here. I believe it's in the book of Psalms. Yeah. Psalms 49. Psalms 49 verse uh, six. It says. They that trust in their wealth and boast themselves in the multitude of their riches. Yeah, because that's what Babylon the Great boasted itself in. You know, this is the land of, of milk and honey, right? This is the land of of of, of liberty and, and opportunity. You know, people who want to come here from all across the world to get rich. If you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. All right. The 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 best superpowered nation the, the most luxurious nation uh, as the scriptures talks about in revelation the 18th chapter the kings of the earth you know uh uh got rich off the off of her delicacies because what america is the most consuming nation in the world most uh importing nation in the world so it says they boast themselves in a multitude of their riches none of them can by any means redeem his brother nor give to the Most High a ransom for him. And that's the thing, because the Lord is the one that's allowing, that is orchestrating this uh, uh, this downfall of America, man, from its infrastructure, from its economics, all right, its economy, which this is going to affect everybody, man, because that's what this, this place, these people, they boast themselves in money. They boast themselves in, in, in uh, uh, filthy lucre. But because of their wickedness, because of, of its iniquity that this place also boasts itself in, pride itself in, they now have a debt, okay? And I'm talking about a spiritual debt with the Lord that they cannot uh, pay. So because they have this spiritual debt, because of their wickedness, the Lord is now crumbling, visiting this whole entire, uh, 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 you know, country. So it says... America would default for the first time in history, which also lets you know that we are in those unprecedented times, man. All right. The times uh, like never before. It says she said in her remarks to the Senate Banking Committee. Uh, the full faith in, in credit of the United States would be impaired. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Full faith in credit. All right. This place is not credible. It says why? Let's get that. I um, actually don't have it up, but we'll see why America is not credible, why people are losing faith in America left and right, man. These different countries or even its own allies because the, because from America's inception, it's de is dealt by a wicked and, and evil uh, means. All right. It, it's dealt. It, they only dealt by unrighteous decrees. 
This is the book of Sirach or Ecclesiasticus chapter 10 verse 8. Let me start at 7. It says, pride is hateful before God and man. And that's what America <laughs> built itself on, man. All right. Esau, Edom, the beauty of the Chaldees, excellency, Babylon the Great, has built itself on pride. But the latter end of pride, as the scripture says, that pride goes before uh, a fall and a haughty look before destruction. So what is coming to America? A, a fall and destruction. Babylon the Great is fallen, is fallen. It says, and by both doth one commit iniquity. All right? So one commits iniquity by what? Pride. I believe there's a scripture that says that, that, says that pride is the beginning of a sin. All right? So verse 8 says, because of unrighteous dealings, what, what Babylon, America was set up upon, Injuries set up upon the injuries of the uh, uh, children of the Most High, the Israelites, unrighteous dealings with the Israelites and unrighteous dealings with these other nations. All right. Stealing their resources. OK. Uh, 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 spreading their their ideology in the name of democracy while by, by uh, while also, you know, uh, uh, taxing, colonizing these other nations and riches got by deceit falsehoods the kingdom is translated from one people to another and we are watching witnessing the translation of esau's rulership being taken uh, from his hands all right and the house of david being restored which is once yahweh shall returns who shall sit upon the throne of david the kingdom of israel shall be restored all right the restitution of the sons of god all right so while of the elect of Israel is becoming, you know, uh, uh, more and more in tune with Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai, repenting, turning back, remembering themselves in the land of their captivity, right? Getting this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, as Yahweh Shai said, that the, that that should be the, um, the 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 kingdom of heaven is within you. You have on on the other hand, America uh, Esau's kingdom falling, faulting. All right, them trying to do all these different uh, uh mechanisms and schemes to 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 make it seem as if it's still a great nation but people are seeing right through it all right when you got infighting you got uh, uh uproars constant protestings okay these other nations their own allies having an evil eye toward them that that goes to show you that america is on its way out man Babylon, the beauty of Chaldees, is on its way out, and there is nothing that can be done to uh, uh, dissipate that. This is the book of Jeremiah 46, verse 11. Go up into Gilead and take balm, O virgin daughter of Egypt. All right, the scriptures tells us in the book of Revelation, the, uh, eighth, the 11th chapter, if I'm not mistaken, that this is spiritual Sodom in Egypt. We, uh, Deuteronomy 28, we shall go into Egypt again with ships. So it says take balm, which is what? Healing medicine, right? And that's what <clears throat> them them trying to raise the debt limit, okay? Them trying to, you know, uh, uh, push back these eviction moratoriums, which that is over, all right? Them trying to do all these stimulus checks, right? All these different things economically Esau was trying to do to keep the uh, heartbeat of America uh, economic uh, uh, system, you know, um, going active. It's, it's it's about to flatline, man. All right. It's about to flatline. So it says. Um, it says in vain shalt thou use many medicines for thou shalt not be cured. All right. In vain shalt thou use many medicines. So trying to do all these different things, but it's for it's, it's all in vain. Why? Because the Lord will perform the intents of his heart. And in the latter days, ye shall consider it. And we are seeing the heavenly father, Barashim Yahweh Shai, perform the in, intents of his heart. Okay? His counsel shall stand. And it was written that America, Babylon the Great, all right, spiritual Sodom in Egypt, was going to fall. And there will be nothing... Nobody 
no man, no legislation, no uh, uh, medicine, okay, healing medicine that will be able to stop this fall, man. All right. It says the nations have heard of thy shame. And they cry and the and thy cry has filled the land for the mighty man has stumbled against the mighty and they sh and they are fallen both together. So let's go back now. And everybody's falling around here, man. The only ones who are rejoicing are the ones that are have their hope and trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. OK, everybody else has has panic or has anxiety, you know, uh, uh. If it's not in the forefront, it's in the back of their mind, man. And a lot of people that have it in the back of their mind, they're using drugs and alcohol and surfeiting and partying and banqueting to mask their real, you know, uh, inner feelings. Okay? Continuously trying to be distracted. All right? Bread and circuses. But just like in ancient Rome, once bread and circuses was the was at its heightened level to the, for, for its use of trying to distract the Romans, or the citizens of what was going on, right? But because of so much calamities happening all throughout the country, the bread and circuses wasn't enough, then what ends up happening? What ends up happening is turmoil, uh, uh, revolting, sedition, insurrection. And that is what is on a, is on the cusp of here about to happen in Babylon the Great, man. Okay? And be not surprised if it happens during this winter time, man. Okay, that dark winter. So it says, because the US US has never defaulted on its debt before, economists have relied on forecast and guesswork when trying to estimate the economic fallout a default would bring. Still, most economists say such a default would bring about financial calamity. Hey, did not the Lord say that when the calamity shall hit you like a whirlwind? All right. And there's, and there's various different types of calamities. You got the, the, the sedition calamity. You got the civil, civil war calamity. You got the working calamity. You got the economic calamity. You got the food shortage calamity. Okay. You got the pestilence calamity. You got the natural, the natural disasters calamity. And all these things I just named. Are happening in a Babylon the Great right now, man. Simultaneously, that's why I said as your when your calamity should come as a whirlwind, right? When a whirlwind is what a tornado, you are getting hit by multiple different things that are caught up in that tornado. That's what's happening here, man. That's why they're going to try to use many medicines, but it's not going to uh, Babylon, as it says in Jeremiah fifty one. We would have healed Babylon, but Babylon is not healed. There's no healing this place. It says um, to bring about economic calamity that could trigger a broad market sell off and economic downturn amid a spike in interest rates. Because now they're saying that interest rates are going to spike. And we already know that the actual, you know, Wall Street is manipulated, right? Those numbers are, are all fluffed. But it's a bubble that is about to pop, man. Okay? That, that is a big ass uh, pseudo bubble that they have pushed that is about to explode so it says you would expect to see an interest rate spike if the debt ceiling were not raised yelling during a live testimony on tuesday uh yellen said during a live testimony on tuesday i think there would be a financial crisis right you remember the financial crisis that happened back in 2008 which they all you know they always mention that but they always say that that financial crisis was never actually fixed. They just put a band-aid over an open wound. So there would be a financial crisis and a calamity. All right. Actually, let me go to the scripture that speaks about the calamity. Proverbs, the first chapter. Um, Proverbs 1, verse 23. It says... I'm going to start at 22. It says, how long, ye simple ones, will you love sim uh, simplicity? And you scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge. Because that's what we have been uh, uh, prophesying about, man. That's what we come in the name of the Lord to speak the words of knowledge, okay? The words of wisdom so that the ones of you who are listening, all right, of Israel 
will repent. But we know ultimately that only the elect are going to hear it. But you fools that hate this knowledge, okay, that say, oh, y'all always been saying this. Y'all always been talking about this. Well, guess what? As it is written in book of Ezekiel 12 chapter, that you should no longer have that proverb, man. You should no longer be able to say that are you prophesied of a time that is afar off. Because we can clearly see that the times are not afar off, man. They're, they're talking about uh, less than three weeks. There might be a default, something that has never happened in the history of America. All right, it says, turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. And how does the Lord do that? By way of his prophets, the servants of prophets. I will make known my words unto you. But I have, because I have called and ye refuse, I have stretched out my hand and no man regard, regarded. But ye have set at naught all my counsel. Okay? Following the ways of the Heavenly Father, repenting, all right? Abstaining from uh, 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 wickedness, abstaining from abomination, abstaining from the, 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 the lust of the flesh, the pride of life. You would have none of that counsel. You, you, you don't want, all right? You don't want to, to take the heed of the Heavenly Father. You don't want to take counsel of His Spirit. You want to take counsel of the Spirit of this world, which is after, after coming after the workings of Satan. So now you're going to have to partake in the judgment and the wrath of your Heavenly Father that He has coming upon this world. It says, and with none of my reproof, I will laugh at your calamity. Do you see that? I will mock when your fear cometh. And this is a fearful thing, man. A lot of people are afraid of economic calamity because the people in this world they have stored up their treasures in this world see this is why Yahweh told us to store up your treasures in heaven where moth uh, uh doeth not uh, uh, in, uh moth cannot corrupt men okay but it says uh, calamity distress burden calamity disaster the calamity of a nation and that is what's coming okay Economic calamity of this nation is on the horizon, man. So it says, I will laugh at your calamity. Lord, not going to be sitting there like, oh, my God, I can't believe. No, we can't say, oh, my God. But like, oh, I'm so sad that this is happening. No. All right. He, he's, he, this is going to be his, his good pleasure to do this. And we, being a mouthpieces of the Lord, are going to be laughing at this place when, it's, when this economic uh, uh, destruction happens, man. But like I said, they there. If they allow this to happen, understand that it's because that they ultimately, right? Because it's the will of the Lord. They ultimately are going to use this as a ploy to introduce the digital currency. All right. So it says, um, absolutely, it's true that interest payments on the government debt will increase. Um, sharing of leaderships, blah blah blah. That's not important. It says, um, no, that's not, I'll read this one. It says, now, as Minority Leader McCarthy and McCullen, Mc, uh, McCall, 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 welcome a disaster they both know is coming. See, now they're trying to place the blame. All right, the Democrats are placing the economic blame on the Republicans. The Republicans are, are placing the political and, and divide of, of, of America blame or the shortage of workers blames on the Democrats going back and forth all right which once again this both are two horns of the same beast because these people they're not going to be affected all right just like how when Biden passed the law for all federal workers to be juiced the Congress wasn't uh, mandated to do that so these people that that your so-called elected officials, they're 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 not going to uh, have to be um, uh, affected by this um, economic fallout by these by these uh, uh, economic uh, calamities. Janet Yellen's not going to be. Jerome Powell's not going to be. Nancy Pelosi, McCullen, McCarthy, all right, Schumer, they're not going to be affected. All right, it's going to be you citizens. All right, the, uh, they call you useless eaters that are going to be ha that is going to feel the brunt if this happens. This disaster that they both know is coming. Republican luminaries, <laughs> oh how how Lucifer has fallen from heaven. Former Treasury secretaries, business groups, and top economics are joining the growing chorus of Americans demanding that they put a that they stop putting politics 
over the health of the U.S. economy. All right. And they always are trying to use these terminologies that act, make it seem like they are that they care for the, 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 the uh, American people. But ultimately, they don't give a damn because they're just puppets themselves. It says Pelosi's office said last week before Yellen's latest uh, letter. So, uh, Senate Republicans on Monday blocked a bill that would fund the government and suspend the U.S. borrowing limit. The GOP opposed the House approved bill because it included a provision to suspend the debt ceiling, a task Republicans say ought to be upped to the Democrats alone. So if they continue with that, that uh, um, that same energy and they don't pass it, the Republicans, this disaster is going to uh, take place. All right. Oh, there was a little bit more. Republicans uh, want Democrats to raise the debt ceiling by including a provision in their $3.5 trillion reconciliation bill. It says the U.S. government will shut down at the end of September if lawmakers fail to approve the new funding or appropriation bills. In that case, government agencies must, must send thousands of federal employees home and operate at a limited capacity until funding is resumed. The debt ceiling is viewed as the greater economic as the greater economic threat since failing to suspend or raise the US debt the US borrowing limit would result in a first ever debt in untold unprecedented all right times like never before America uh, economic havoc <laughs> Hey man raising or suspending the debt ceiling does not uh, authorize new federal spending but rather allows the Treasury to honor debts already incurred during the Trump and Biden administration. Even if the Biden administration had passed no new spending initiative initiatives in 2021, lawmakers would still have to raise or suspend the ceiling. Republicans reproved three such debt ceiling increases or suspensions during the Trump administration, under which the national debt rose by roughly eight trillion dollars. And that's what America is, man. It's just one big debt cesspool. Habakkuk 2, verse 6. Shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb <clears throat> against him, saying, Woe unto him <clears throat> that increases that which is not his. How long? And to him that ladeth himself with thick clay, which goes into heavy debts. Shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee? And awake that shall vex thee, and thou shalt be for booties unto them, which means spoils. Because thou hast spoiled many nations, and the remnant of the people shall be and the remnant of the people shall spoil thee, because of men's blood and for violence of the land and of the city, and of all that dwell therein. Woe to him that coveteth an evil covetousness to his, to his house that he may set his nest on high, that he may be delivered from the power of evil. Okay? And that's what they're doing. They're actually covetous, covetousing an evil covetous upon their own house, man. The, the, the Republicans and Democrats. It says, Thou hast consulted shame to thy house by cutting off many people. And who is the people that they're cutting off? All right? Cutting off economic relief unto their own citizens who they're supposed to be represent representatives of. Thou hast consulted shame against thy house by cutting off many people and has sinned against thy old against thy soul. Joe Biden's are we gotta heal the soul of America? Well, guess what? It aren't the, the America America is the people, right? Just like Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. Well, America <laughs> is a people before it's a place. But here it is. They're actually going to be affecting and hurting the the uh, the American people. So the, the soul of America is going to be hurt, which is going to in, invoke anger, invoke the uh, uh, sedition, invoke uh, people not regarding their kings or princes. All right, let's get this. This is uh, Isaiah 47 verse 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the child Chaldees, but thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. All right, America is no more looked at a place of uh, of 
economic, you know, uh, 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 economic, what's the word I'm looking for? The economic totem pole, all right? The economic uh, uh, heightened richest country of the world. No, it's, 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 it's a country that is defaulting on its debt, man. Poor ass country. I'm going to jump to verse um, 5. It says, I'm sorry, that 4 says, As for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name. That's who's going to deliver us. Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, the Holy One of Israel. Sit thou in silence and get thee into darkness. Dark winter, okay? It says, O daughter of the Chaldees, for thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms. It says, verse um, 7, I'm going to jump. Thou saidest, thou hast said, I shall be a lady forever. So thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither didst remember the latter end of it. So they, uh, these people in America and Esau, right? They didn't, uh, they didn't remember the latter end of of what what is going to come for, come of America, man. Okay, they just thought that they were going to be able to destroy the heritage of of the heavenly Father, which are the Israelites, to pres to to continuously, you know, uh, uh, lay a heavy yoke upon them, show them no mercy, continuously. To blaspheme the name of the Lord, continuously to blaspheme, all right, the the the, the Creator, all right, think making themselves think that that they're God, all right, and they were going to just get away with it, continuously just to be oppressing this whole world, destroying the earth, okay, and thinking that they were just going to get a, a, a go away scot free, man, but no, they didn't consider the latter end of it, which the latter end of it. Is what? Therefore hear now this, thou thou that are given to pleasures, that dwellest carelessly. Yeah, because for you to be, uh, uh, for a country to be defaulting in debt, for a country that is supposed to be a first world country, to be about to be uh, defaulted for the first time ever, that's careless handling of your finances, man. That's careless hand. You just spending, 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 spending carelessly. That's not a that's not a way to to, to run a country. That's not a way for a king, a right to, to rule. It says, Thou sayest in thy heart, I am, and this and that's the reason why they think they thought that they could just do this, this to, to give themselves the pleasures, to dwell carelessly, all right, to be re reckless and irresponsible with their economic um, you know, economic agendas. Because they say that I am and none else beside me. They thought themselves to be on top and it didn't matter. I sit as a widow. I shall not sit as a widow. Neither shall I know the loss of children. But that's what's going to come, man. Okay? In a moment in one day, as the scripture says. This is our Proverbs. Oh, not that one. Proverbs 22, verse 16. He that oppresseth the poor to increase his riches, which is how America got rich, and he that giveth to the rich, all these tax cuts, and, and you got uh, Jeff Bezos hasn't paid taxes, Bill Gates don't pay taxes, Elon Musk doesn't pay taxes, uh, uh, Donald Trump doesn't pay taxes, but they just continuously get rich and rich and rich, while the poor gets poor and poor and poor, it says what? He that giveth to riches sure, shall surely come to want. And now it's time for America to come to a want, man. Hey, and these people of America that love to have it so that has that has uh, uh, trusted in the shadow of Babylon, in the shadow of Egypt, in the shadow of Pharaoh, you gonna come to want too. You gonna be howling for vexation of spirit as well. Okay, uh, Jeremiah fifty, verse thirteen. It says, "Because of the wrath of the Lord, it shall not be inhabited, but it shall be wholly desolate. Everyone that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished." And hiss at at, and show hiss at all her plagues, and this economic calamity is one of the many plagues that the Lord has coming to uh, to this place, man. And the ultimate end of the of the, of the plagues of Babylon is this place being shoot is being uh, destroyed by thermal nuclear destruction, man, and the chariots of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah when Yahweh Shah returns. All right, this place being utterly burnt with fire. That is the end of the plagues. 
But the Lord is bringing all these plagues upon this place. And, and one of it is this economic uh, uh, turmoil that is coming. Okay. So I ended with this. This is Jeremiah 5 verse 1. Go to now ye rich men. Howl and weep. Weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. You're rich. Yeah. Because you, you think about it. Because you got a lot of rich people that are not a part of the so-called 1%. Right, a lot of these CEOs and these uh, 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 executives, okay, that play in the stock market, you know, that that always are checking their 401k, right? They don't even understand, and some of them do pay attention, but they still are deceived because they think that America, Babylon the Great, is this lady of kingdoms that would never see corruption. So they, even in their minds, they think, oh, well, you know, they, they will bounce back X, Y, and Z. Not realizing that ultimately these the, the the rulers of the darkness of this world got an agenda that is going to have to come into fruition by destroying this economy. So everybody that has trusted in this economy is going to be affected. So that's why it says, uh, "Ye rich men, how and weep, weep and how for the miseries that shall come upon you," because there's going to be a miserable thing when people that have worked all their lives, that has put all their stock literally in the stocks. In, in the financial of, of this world, when all that just could collapse. It says, your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth-eaten. Your gold and your silver is cankered. Meaning what? Your money. Okay? Because in this society, because real money is gold and silver. But in this society, you got fiat money, which is their U.S. dollars, which is owned by the Federal Reserve, which, once again, they're coming out uh, soon with uh, uh, the implementation of CBDC. It says, And the rust of them shall be a witness against you, and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Ye have heaped treasures together for the last days. Behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, okay, which are who? The, the, the Israelites, man. All right, the ones who are last hired, first fired, the ones who are working, in the low wage jobs industries, okay, the ones who who don't ever you who, who who you never allow to excel in your economic uh, system unless they're uh, a homosexual or a uh, um, you know a woman that that loves Esau, okay, but no straight man, and especially no man that that serves Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, they gonna allow to you know get up into the ranks but that's okay because once again <laughs> we already know that this place is done man all right that's why the scripture tells you that you know we don't we know that the lord set this set this devil in the slippery uh places actually let me get that all right so we don't even look to be some 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 uh you know high up in in your economic system man you know we just looking for our daily bread right it says um psalms 73 verse 18 it says until i went to the sanctuary 17 until i went to the sanctuary of the most high which is his truth then understood i their end surely thou didst set them in slippery places thou casteth them down into destruction how are they brought into desolation as in a moment they are utterly consumed with terrors okay so terrors on every side shall make them afraid and this economic terror that the Lord got is going to be a hey, it's going to be a big blow to this place, man. A big blow. All right, so um, uh, you're not in that there. Hey, Lord willing, this was edifying unto the elect. You know, as we continue to watch to see what happens, Lord willing, the Lord does allow this to happen. But we know ultimately, you know that uh, uh the Lord is is bringing the destruction to this place, man. So, you know, the, the heavenly fathers. Bashim Yahushai will be done. And then we just pray that we are um worthy to escape these things and that the Heavenly Father has mercy upon us as he brings judgment, his wrath, his visitation upon uh the wicked, all right, of this world and 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 and, and this God forsaken wicked ass kingdom, Babylon the Great. So yeah, with that, call Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakakradash. Till next time, Shalom.